Hey guys, what's going on? It's Zoko and I have a new video on grappling for you today. This is going to be a guide focused more towards beginners, but if you're a veteran at the craft, sometimes you can always learn something when you go back to the basics. If you guys find my last Oasis video is helpful, please consider subscribing and enabling notifications to get those messages whenever I upload something new. Before I get too far into this, I just wanted to get out of the way that I am using a beltless grappling hook in this video. Uh, I already made a video detailing why I thought it was the best grappling hook available in game at the moment. I will be leaving a link in the description so you can go check that out if that interests you. So how I learned to grapple, honestly, was I just went to one of the hard maps. In my opinion, this is really the best place to learn. It's very forgiving because there are so many trees to grapple onto, and you can really whip yourself around very, very easily, uh, generate a lot of speed and height fast. This will allow you to get used to the physics of grappling pretty quickly. When you get started with grappling, you may have diff difficult time actually getting off the ground to begin with, as dumb as that sounds. So the easiest way I have found of getting started from the ground is aiming pretty high into a tree. It doesn't need to be at the top end of your grappling length, but a good ways up. And I also try and do it a little ways back from the tree, so you can actually generate speed right when you get off the ground. So you grapple the tree and then jump and start reeling in at the same time. This allows you to clear any rocks or any other terrain that is in your way. If you're going downhill it doesn't really matter as much, but it's a good habit to get into because you will never have ideal terrain in this game. Uh, if you're flying through the forest a lot of times shit has completely hit the fan and you need to have some muscle memory dialed in when it comes to this. Reeling after grappling isn't just used when starting out either. It will also be pretty necessary if you grapple at the very top end of your grappling range because of all of your slack that is out. You're going to have just much further to fall. Now obviously the bigger your arc downward the further you will go as well. You just got to watch those kneecaps. Grappling is a critical skill and even more so for the solo player. You can be a pest to groups when you are fighting around the tree line. A lot of clans have realized this and if they start getting messed with you will notice they will literally chop down every single tree around them. It's a smart move, but it also makes me laugh a bit. Also, try and keep yourself at full health or close to it. Have some bandages handy. Uh, if you're at full health, I don't believe you can get knocked from a fall, but if you play this a bit loose, uh, be prepared to knock yourself down doing this, or even kill yourself if you're not being careful to take a break after getting knocked down. You may decide to park your walker with a water supply nearby to practice. Uh, I ended up do just spawning naked onto a hard oasis with nothing in practice like that, risking nothing at all. Really depends on your situation. If you have a good protection in an area, you might as well use it and just park a walker. But I tend to play solo a lot because I have a different schedule than my, most of my group, so you just gotta do what you gotta do. When grappling and you find yourself at a dead hang, you can start swinging easily in any direction using the movement keys. You can get a decent swing pretty quick, so if you need a second to get your bearings before continuing to practice, that is totally fine. Uh, the downside of grappling in the forest is it gets pretty dense in certain areas, and while that is the major benefit that I had pointed out earlier in terms of grappling points, it's also the drawback because it can completely blind you at times. In this game, it is very, very important to become proficient with this skill. Having good movement is frequently what will set apart a very exceptional player from the pack. I hope you found this video helpful and you improve your grapple game using it. We've got some big content updates around the corner and I will be making videos on them. So again, consider subscribing, dropping, dropping a like, and comment about what you're excited about most. Also, I do live streaming on Twitch. My link is in the description below, so check that out if that interests you. Have a great day.